Hi guys, now that I'm still on Archcraft, let's do our worst with it. <laughs> no, our best, of course. We have this get nemesis thing, something that you could copy paste and change all you want, right? So get nemesis ATT is what I run after anything clean install. I want this, I don't want that, those things. I want my own NeoFetch, I want my own Bash RC and stuff like that. So this is the personal bit all the things I'd like, and these are all the things I change. I want Alacrity settings, I want this settings, I want Firefox settings, fonts, GTK3, and so on. You put in there whatever you want, right? So if you go to that particular setup, so data, Arclix Nemesis, I would run number zero. And then it starts Find, well, figuring out what's there and, and what can I remove. First is number 400, remove this, 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 this. Everything that I don't want to have on my system is gonna be removed and the last thing was video Vesa I see here. And then it keeps on adding things. So Arclinx Candy Beauty is an icon theme, Arcadone and stuff like that. It keeps on doing its job basically. So I'm telling him, Remove this and add that and add that. So all these things will be checked upon and it starts always with zero. Zero current choices and I change. I don't want left WM these days, I want CHDWM these days. That's this, what you're looking at, right? But it's there already, so I'll just jump it to say, okay, it's there, whatever. And it's just not doing anything for it. And it goes on with all the scripts here. What I could do, if I need to do, is make a 970. So if I am on ALCI ISO, if I'm on Archlinx ISO, if I'm on Archman ISO, if I'm on Arco ISO, Arizer ISO, Carly ISO, Endeavor OS ISO, Garudo ISO, Sierra ISO, or I could add a new one if needed, right? I'm not sure that it's needed, but I could add an Archcraft and say, if you're an Archcraft, do this and this and that. And that's the fun, stay in control on whatever Linux distribution you've chosen, run your scripts afterwards, and um, that will be great. Now, one of the things I was missing is VirtualBox. So Super F7 is something that launches here VirtualBox. And I said, ah, it's not yet installed, meaning I did not run the Arconix um, Nemesis scripts yet. So this is now covered. <laughs> Arshcraft will get my package in. And what's this sweet spores? What's that? Here is GIMP. I'm guessing that's one package before. That's a very, very slow thing here. But there we go, we're off again. What we do need to check is if uh, pacman.conf has five parallel things. So let's have a look. File system etc pacman.conf. That is gonna make my installations faster. So parallel download six, even better. So that's not the thing. It was just one server. I was slow in response time. So that's cool. Now servers, that's somewhere else, right? <laughs> it's all about knowledge. And that's what we do on Arclex, share the knowledge. So the Archcraft mirror list, Arclinx mirror list, Celtic mirror list, Endeavor mirror list, and the Archlinx mirror list is here. So Rexpace is not a bad server at all. So it was just not having its moment or its day, I don't know. <laughs> so that's cool. We have got a good server. So while it's doing its thing, um, well, let's go into a look again. So data, Arclinx Nemesis, check it all out. And in the end, you follow the route, right? You follow the route it takes. It's gonna do the parallel downloads. It, it, it tries to find this thing, right? And it was already six, so it didn't change anything. So we make sure that we have parallel downloads if we're on Arch or anything else. It should be activated, simple as that whatever we're on, it should be activated. And it keeps on going 
and installing Bluetooth maybe or cups or you don't want that you put a hashtag in front of it done it's not gonna be there here here we're going to install the virtual box so that was the one I was missing so in here we have a war folder install all kind of things things you say okay oh what's this or what's that and of course study the script analyze the script change the script um, it's still up to you to be responsible of your system not just run a script from anywhere all the stuff that matter to you we ever seem to be missing here an, an, a menu or something a view location solve games with view configure toolbar show hidden files we seem to have here a bar that's missing probably need to activate it somehow split view no button style ah button style okay entry style so now i can go up <laughs> so the aor um no i was going to say the personal here is what you make it your own little small things like look at this here all these links i have to make them again and again and again on any machine no use scripts so this is part of gtk3 settings any nope that's not it bookmarks probably i've called it bookmarks so here we have all the elements and yes each time on every single machine i'm called eric so that's convenient and all these bookmarks are there i don't have to look i know I have data at the bottom i know that there's themes here and there's themes here and icons here and icons there so that's super interesting so i need to reboot um, um, everything is done final scale if you don't know what scale is you should check it out if you type scale 1l it won't work on anything not ArcNX. If you type scale double L, it will work. And if you still don't know what it is, you go and click the link. Here's a link, ArcNX, updating your system with scale and still keeping your own settings. And, and there we are, you can read what's all about, videos, 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 right? How many videos do we have? 25 videos on scale. I hope it's clear after 25 videos. So there you go, I ran my Arcanix Nemesis scripts and um, in previous video we've built an ISO. We're still on Archcraft if you were wondering that. So new fetch, right? But <laughs> it says here Archcraft, but our scripts and Arcanix Nemesis scripts change something here, which is not supposed to do, but well, I, don't, I don't mind, right? It's okay. So um, Archcraft, so the next thing I'll, I'll do is, is um, show you our build. So we built an ISO, Arcanix D ISO for an example, on Archcraft. So yes, it's possible to build it on, on Archcraft and DevRes, Garuda and so on. Look at the website, that's probably still open, right? I've um, deleted Anarchy Linux since I don't think it's continued anymore. So these guys have been tested and you can see videos on YouTube for it. But now we have Archcraft as well. All right, next video, VirtualBox. So I need to reboot. VirtualBox has been installed. Let's do it. Super F7. Yep, it's installed. I can do this. I have a template. Easy, peasy. And then I'll do a clone. And I'll call this Control A. Yes. Oh, no, that's not working. Like this. Arco. Well, D is something I type, right? <laughs> not too much. This is the D version that we've built ourselves on Archcraft in the next video. Cheers.